Hi, Will from Sound on Sound here at Synthvest UK with Rob from Sound Technology, who's going to show us the new Roly LightPad M block. So, Rob, what's new about this block? Oh, well, the main thing about it is they've, they've changed the surface on it. It's a more textured surface, um, make it more tactile. Uh, you can't quite see it, it's quite subtle, but if you feel it... Mm. It's very nice and It's still nice textured. and smooth, so you can move your fingers around like you'd expect to, mm. but it's just giving a bit more of a tactile feel to it. Uh, the other thing is, uh, it's 50% brighter, so you can see what's going on in it even easier, and they've improved the battery life as well, so it lasts even longer. Very nice. And so, how does it fit into the, the rest of the ecosystem well, then? Well, uh, just like any of the other blocks, it basically just connects in. You've got your DNA connectors on the side, and these are magnetic, which means when you connect them up with other blocks, they just clip together. This does all the communication and all the power as well. So here we've got the brand new Seaboard block, mm -hmm. and this has got the same connections on the side. So the idea is, with any light pad system, you can just clip it on, and then they become... It appears on the one screen module. as well. Yeah, so what I've got here, this is the uh, Blocks dashboard software. This comes with all the Blocks uh, products, and this is where you configure what you want your Blocks to be. I see. So the light pad block can sort of more or less be anything you want. People have seen people playing it as an instrument, but it's not necessarily like that. Whenever you connect anything up, the dashboard automatically shows all the Blocks you've got, and then you just click on the one that you want, and you've got all your options of what you want it to be. So I could get it to be any kind of thing. So I could turn it into a mixer block. And now these are faders. Oh, great. And these are mutes. Or these can be anything you want, because within here, once you've set them up with these faders, you can set up the, the, uh, the MIDI side of things for what these are going to control. So you can have them to control anything. They could be the volume of your VST. They could be volumes of your mixer, um, any, anything you want. Uh, but equally, showed... you could have them as pads. Absolutely, yes. So uh, I could do them as uh, drum block, and now they would be playing drums if, I'm pl if I selected a drum sound. At the moment, they're all triggering equator, so uh, that's what you're hearing here. Um, but yeah, so you can. I mean, you can even play Space Invaders on it if you wanted to. Well, you know, when creativity is exactly when, when you when you're bored in in, in the uh, in the studio, Space Invaders. So That's you've got a lots dangerous of dangerous thing to have yeah. available. How much is this going to set us back then? The new Light Light Pad M. Uh, I think it's about 169 pounds. Okay, great. And available when? It's available now.